Hey everybody, Walker here. Welcome to episode 11 of season 3 of my modded Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, today we're going to make ourselves our Boots of the Traveler. Because I'm tired of uh, running slowly. I love the Boots of the Traveler and so should you. Uh, we're going to make it, I'm, but before I can make the Boots of the Traveler, I got to make a runic matrix out of this stuff. Um, I then I went around and I got my wands all fully charged. I have all the items I need. Um, the the uh, ender pearl is in there somewhere. But I came outside because, um, and I have to apologize uh, because I di I didn't get to it till this episode. Um, it was mentioned on uh, well I think episode nine that my base looks really, really big from the inside, but it doesn't appear to be much on the outside. Um, and you're right. And your, your, uh, what you surmised was correct too. The base, the mountain itself, let's see if I can get up high enough to show you. The mountain itself is huge and you can tell from my map. Um, and my base goes, uh, Hold up. There we go. My base comes all the way over to here. Uh, on the interior, right? There we go. And this is just the very toppest level that we've got. The magic level. Everything else is inside this mountain. So, you're right. It is big, but there's a good idea of... Uh, you can see it again up on Journey Maps. That little red rectangle that's covered in white is the borders of my magic room. And then it's pretty much what it is through and down to the bottom layer. Uh, with a few exceptions, uh, as I go up higher... My room's gotten narrower going this way, so uh, this level actually, this is the outer facade. If I go right behind here, there's the wall that leads into, I believe that's the production room. But we're going to keep that there so it looks kind of like it's a mountain, right? So f let's get down to business. We're getting into Thomcraft, which makes me excited. I put off Thomcraft for a while. Oop. I got a drop chunk. I'm not going over there anytime soon, so it's fine. I can't remember. One of the mods I have installed is doing that. And I think, I think it's Chicken Bones. Because that's the only one I can think of that does anything like loading chunks and whatnot. So it could be Chicken Bones, but let's come in here. I got to make myself a runic matrix. Can only sleep at night. Darn it. I can't remember if I left uh, my... Oh, I'm going to open this chest and you're going to see a whole nice little silver wood. Okay, and I'll show you here. I just wanted to make sure I had that ender pearl because I need that. Uh, yes, after last episode, I decided I really, really, really needed some silver wood before I got too much further. Because once we start getting into a lot of the more advanced stuff, silver wood's going to be very important. We need it to get our silver wood... Uh, core. We need it for a couple of other things in Atomogy. Um, once I get this branch all settled. So I went and made sure I found some and I hacked down, well, I don't know, five or six trees to get one silverwood sapling, which I planted out here and I'm waiting for it to grow. Right there. I'm hoping it'll grow up here in the cold climate. If not, I'll just have to put it, bring it down a little bit more. And um, after I chop it down, I hope that I can uh, get another sapling so that I can grow a couple more. I don't really care about changing the biome into a magical forest biome. That wasn't the point. It was just so that I had silver wood for future episodes without having to run up to get it. And I, I just wanted to turn it back daytime. I'll show you on journey maps how far I had to go. No, 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 no. There. J. Oh, shoot. I'm inside. Uh, techni uh, uh, technically inside, so I have to come out here just to show you guys. 
And whatever that was just died, so. Just making sure no one's gonna come after us. He, he hasn't seen us yet, and that's good. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I had to travel. I went north, because honestly, I had as much chance in any direction going to finding a Silverwood uh, or a Magical Forest biome as any. So, uh, in normal Walker uh, exploration methods, I traveled north. It's like any time I start a new world, north is always the way I go. And um, I found a, a very large tainted biome. And right above that, I found a magical forest biome. So it's going to be kind of fun watching the interaction between these two. As this spreads, it should spread. And um, depending on how long we're in this, uh, it will spread all the way up into here. Unless I put some restrictions on it. But uh, I don't know if it'll spread if I'm not around to see it spread. I know journey maps won't update until I go up and, and get up there again. So we might want to... I might take a snapshot of this. And then, I don't know, a couple more episodes. I'll go up and find another one. Oh, I didn't see these. Ah, shoot. Well, now I have a reason to go back up there. I didn't see that. That's a chest on that altar type deal. And that is either the same or that's just a, a obelisk. But I'm pretty sure that's the same idea because the obelisks look very, very different. See? That's an obelisk actually. So, ah, we might have to go up there soon just to see what's in there. See, that's an obelisk. It looks a lot different than that. Those chests could hold some goodies, or it could hold nothing but junk. But the other cool thing that's up here, there's a wisp spawner under that. We can generate wisps and have our unlimited supply of um, um, uh, their aspects. That way I have plenty of aurum, which is one of the more annoying things to get, right? All right, so I have the beginnings of the rune, uh, the um, infusion altar ready to go. Okay, I've placed down my preliminary blocks. I had to make some more, and I don't know why I didn't place these ones down either. But there we go. And actually, oh, when did I scan the bricks? I don't remember scanning bricks, but that's okay. Now we have those down. I need to make the runic matrix. Yes, hello. Okay, uh, which is one, two, three, four of those over here this goes in the center i believe these go like that and this comes around the side and it takes 40 which will turn into 38 because i get the 94 percent average v cost pow runic matrix oh yes all right let's just grab some stone we'll come back over here Okay, I put this over here, and I've already uh, dug down underneath it from the exterior, okay? And I'll make this nicer, but um, I've already put some cl uh, crystal clusters underneath it. This is actually directly underneath it. Uh, I will be putting a lot more stuff down here, because the more stuff you have, the more stable it is. But I just wanted to make sure it had some stability, so the... Uh, Oopsies, the minimal or negligible becomes nothing, right? Because I don't want that thing blowing up in my face from my boots. I want my boots. No, I, I, gotta, I gotta change the shortcut for my jetpack to something else. Alrighty. Get the disassembler, break those, good. We look good. Let's hope I got enough juice. So, how much did it take again? It took a lot. 25. Um. Yeah, I thought so. Because it's an iron cap, uh, it's going to take a lot more. And I have to go find some more ore dough. Because I used up a bunch of it. Let's put that right in there. Ordo, that sucks. Ah, uh, let's see. Ordo, ten, twenty-four. 
Is that minus 57 minus 150? Now, it's kind of that way, so let's see what we can find that way. Minus 57 minus 150. It's almost directly that way. We'll see what we got. I need a little bit more. Oh, I know what it is, actually. I think I do anyway. Whoa. Yeah, it's the one that's like right in the middle over here. We should actually be coming up upon it here shortly. Not you, but you might have some too. Let's see, you... Oh, you're even better. Wonder why that didn't show up. Huh. Because that's reading it at 10. Oh, it might have been I, I scanned it after I drained some... V off of it. I really wish that was working better, but, uh, well, at least I have it. I mean, the old way of doing it would be to either mark it on my map, uh, which now that I have journey maps wouldn't be much of an issue, or, or I used to keep a text file with the coordinates of each type and the amounts and etc. And if it was one that I wanted to capture and bring back to my base, I would mark it that, too. Alright, now we can do this. Ready? 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 Pow! Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it. It's so awesome. Yes. Okay, so now I need Boots of the Traveler. Two enchanted fabric, two air shard, a fish, a feather, and some leather boots. And I already made... I don't remember. Did I make this last episode? I might have made it in between last episode and this episode. See, I had recorded last episode, last uh, uh, Saturday, this past Saturday. And I'm recording this episode actually uh, Wednesday. Uh, because I wasn't sure if anyone would agree with my idea of two episodes a night. Um making uh, two half-hour episodes instead of one hour-long episode. So, uh, I can't remember what I did last week. Do I have... Oh, good. I do. Nice. I know I made the enchanted fabric, which is very easy if you don't know the recipe. Just four string and wool in your table with one of every aspect. Gets you one enchanted fabric. Very simple. Um, if I didn't make it, oh no, I couldn't have made it. You know why? Because I needed the silver wood. That's why I need the silver wood. I need the silver wood, uh, to make the Alembics. That's why I went to go find silver wood. I remember now. All right. Uh, no, this one. So it's air, air, cloth, cloth, feather. And as long as we do it this way, it should be fine. Oops. Air, air, cloth, cloth. Um, oh, shoot. All right. Um, take that off and put that over here. This is a sixer, not a f eighter. Feather, fish, feather, and fish. Now we're going to come over here, and this is the other way seven. I keep running all over the place, so I have to eat constantly. It would help if I got better food. I need Eater, and I need Volatus. And I'm pretty sure those are too far away for the table, so we're just going to put them over here. And that took all of my feathers, except one, and a ton of bows. And that, I just made a bunch of boats. Boats. All right, ready? Oh, no, wait. No, we're not ready. Derp. I need to make the boots. I need to make the thing to infuse, right? That was dumb. All right, leather and leather make the boots. Leather boots. You know what I really should do? I think I said this last season or la our first season. I should make a mod which just mods the boots of the Traveler onto like um, make them like fortress armor boots. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's do this. 
Oh, shoot. There's a little tiny spark. Did you see it? So we have to pay attention, because a little tiny spark means a little tiny bit of instability. Well, it looks like it calmed down a bit. Oh, nope, there it goes again. Someone asked me on one of my older videos, um, I believe it was when I was making the Osmatic Enchanter for the first time, and it blew up in my face in Season 1. Uh, how can you tell if the altar is unstable? Right there. See those? That means instability. And if it comes out and hits me in the face, that's even worse. The worst, though, is when it exploders one of your items that's infusing. Looks like we're gonna make it, though. Yes! Oh, thank you. Bronze boots, don't need you anymore. I have boots of the Traveler. Oh. All right, keyboard. Come on. You can do it. I guess I need a new keyboard. Oh, and it does affect your speed, too, when you're on your, with your, um, jetpack. That's awesome. That was glitchy. All right, I'm just coming down here because as I get rid of different parts of my bronze armor, I've been putting them over here. We're almost got a complete set for that stand. Sweet. Oh, it's so nice. You know what? We've got enough of an episode left. We can go up there and find out what those were. And now, the have Boots of the Traveler, it's going to be a lot faster. Oh my god, it's so much nicer. Let's go fill our jetpack up, though. Because I've used up, I actually had this full. Used up quite a bit of it. Um, we don't need to fill it all the way. It's not going to take us that long to get there, but... There we go, that's good. Yes! Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna go grab some food. Or apples. And you know what, actually? You know what I'm gonna do? Um, I need... Here's what I need. I need gold. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Three, I think we'll do it. I have one piece of glass. That sucks. Let's go get some sand. I need some glass. Um, I think nine will do it. Oh, while I'm up here, I need soul sand too. This is the one that I don't remember. Wait. Don't I have soul sand? Did I not? bring back the soul sand? Oh, is that when I died in the nether? I died in between episodes I was exploring. I found soul sand. Well, I can put that sand in there with it. Nope, there it is. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. The alloy smelter, which is not giving me my recipe list. There it is. I want to make some solarium. I just gotta make sure I get the recipe right. Yep. And then for the solarium, what I want to make is a couple of soul vials. Oh, I need fused quartz. Ooh. I can't use regular. Hmm. Hmm. That's okay. Two, three. While that's cooking up. There it goes. While that's cooking up. I'll go get some... Oh, wait, the quartz is down there, too, but that's okay. I want to put this stuff away. Um, I don't need sand. I can put uh, this soul sand over here. Okay, good. The rest of it's fine. Well, actually, I probably should unload because I'm running out of space. <laughs> Getting ready to go places. All right, let's just, uh, because I'll be using this soon. I'll just clean this out. Uh, I'll be going upstairs anyway. Leather. That can go up in there. That can go upstairs. Actually, that has a barrel upstairs. Okay, good. Quartz. Oh, there's some. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one. Two, three. 
Um, actually, before that happened, let's do it this way. I don't know if that's faster or not, but I'm going to hope that it is for the sake of speed. Oh, the HDPE sheets. Do I have my gray die? Yeah, I do. By the way, uh, I found out that, um, oopsies. Yeah, thanks to this thingy sucking up the hydrogen, my plastic production has increased a little bit. Not a month, not a lot, but a little bit. So before it was halting and I'd have to go up and remember to t uh, drain some of the hydrogen off. Uh, the hydrazine though, that's going to be a problem here shortly too. Uh, speaking of which, how full is this gas burner now? <laughs> Or sorry, did I say hydrazine? I meant ethylene. Ah, watching the Martian too much. Oh, man. Um, yeah, the ethylene might become an issue. Come on. Because, I mean, I can still store some in this gas tank, but uh, I have not, I've barely scratched what was in there with this gas burning generator. I might need to make more storage energy storage thingies are you done yet hey uh, well, i can make at least two of these i'm making some soul jars and i'll tell you why um i have no cows near me i have no chickens near me there's a couple of sheep over in the foothills to uh the west but there's no sheep, or no cows, and no chickens. So I want to at least get one of each of those, and then if I find something cool, I'd like to grab that too. So we're gonna just grab a couple of soul, jar, soul vials. Now we can, how close are we tonight? Oh, it's still half midday. All the way up. Okay, I did got food. Let's put that in there. We'll open that up in there. Uh, water jar, V filter. I'll put the gray plastic in here right now. Um, that should be enough. We should have plenty of room. I am going to bring my wand with me. I'll bring that with me. We should be good to go. Let's go north. We're going to, uh, now that we have our boots of the traveler and we can move very very quickly now we're gonna go all the way up here uh i really want to find out what's in those two chests like i'm just massively interested in what's those two chests but we're gonna uh go this no we're not gonna go through this way that's all jungle over there um we're just gonna go and we're gonna i thought i heard a chicken but i don't see a chicken Let's see how hover mode works. Oh, much better. It's almost like I'm uh, flying uh, in... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so there's some sheeples. we got snakeys. We've got tigers and leopards. I just got to make sure I keep track on my hydrogen level so that I don't uh, run out. Bears. Chokibos. Uh, well, I don't see any chicken or cow. Chicken and cow? Um, I see a golem on fire. A bad golem. Or, is that called a golem? I don't remember. Horse creeper. Don't want a creeper. So those of you who don't know, the soul vial um, traps the soul of the creature in it. Uh, very useful if you need to go and transport something long distance, uh, especially because it's much better than trying to drag things near you with a lasso. Uh, you just grab it and pick it up. It's kind of like the, um, okay, we're moving fast enough that the world can't keep up with us, so that's kind of cool. Thank goodness, because hover mode on uh, without the boots of the traveler sucked. Now wait until I get the speed upgrades on these. Oh, that's going to be cool. 
Anyway, um, it's kind of like the... I don't remember what they called it, but it looked like a Pokeball from... Um, uh, what mod included that? Open blocks, maybe. Oh, here we go. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so that is an obelisk. It just doesn't look like one. Maybe I already did come in here. Oh, no. No, I did not. All right, we got some common treasure, a black lotus. We got some quartz, a steadfast drone, iron nugget, some bread, a saddle. Um, I'll take the mundane... Ooh, a lesser ring of ender disjunction. Nice. I'll take... Um, yeah, well, I'll take that, too. Why not? I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take this. And you know what? Because eventually I'm going to make an Osmotic Enchanter. I might as well take all of these too, right? Um, how many do I need? I need six pillars, two blocks high. At the very minimum. So I need... We'll make two. Three. What do I have this set to? Oh, I had it set to... I wonder why it was taking forever. Oh, yeah. Hell, I might as well bring them all back. Then I can set up a proper Osmotic Enchanter, and maybe, maybe we'll get to see the particle effects that we're supposed to see when we have them. Yes. Ah, take it all. Take it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I have plenty of hydrogen to get home with. I'm just going to clean this right off the map. And uh, that way I won't accidentally come back up here. You know, when I forget next episode that I had already come up here. Uh, There's a pretty decent haul. A couple of nice things in there. Not really what I was hoping to find. I was hoping to find some more expensive stuff, but... Turn that back on to regular. But you know what? We can explore over here, and sometimes you see a couple more of them. So let's see what we find. Um, and I still haven't found any cow or chicken yet, either, so... Now, there's the jungle. Let's see, well, we got some moms, we got a witch, we got a creeper. Now, the soul vial, I could cra capture other things and use them in Ender Io's monster spawner thingy. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, soak up a little bit of that. There we go. Oh, a fading? Sinister node. I don't think I've seen a fading sinister node before. Um, shoot. No chicken and no cow. Plenty of everything else, but the two things I need. Oh, that's another uh, obelisk. Wow, that's a big one. We'll have to remember that one when we unlock nodes in the jar. Oh, a village. Oh, I shouldn't come over here, but we're going to. Let's see. Is there anything really good that I should land for? Um, an apiary, but we don't. We're not set up for bees yet. That's something else that I'd like to work on sooner or later. Here's the edge of that magical forest. Let's just come over here. It's going to be a bit of an explorey episode now that I have some speed to actually explore with. Aha! I knew it. I knew I was going to find another one sooner or later. Let's, uh... Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Steadfast drone. I already have, like, five conduit probes, so... Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was going to fly away, and I'm like, oh, no. Whoa, we have got quite a few of them. They're quite upset with us. Yes, I stole all your stuff. Oh, shoot. Skelly, too. Uh, but I gotta eat. Well, you know, we found a couple of cool things in there. Uh, not 
really amazing stuff, but, um, oh, let's put that Ring of Ender just junction on. Owie! What the heck? Who got to me? Oh, I bet I got smacked by a wisp. Because they're upset with me, too. Whee! Awesome! Alrighty, guys. Well, now that we've made ourselves a Boots of the Traveler, and we can go really fast in really great distances, and we found ourselves a couple of the... Uh, I like to call them Wisp Altars. I'm not really sure exactly what they're supposed to be called. Um, but, uh, oh, that's kind of cool. It's like, like it's setting above the pedestal for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recharge my wand. I'm going to float around a little bit some more and uh, see if I can't find some more loot. And, um, is that a... Is that a raven from... No, it's from Zarks. I was going to say. Every so often I'll find something from... Uh, Twilight in the overworld. And it's just really weird to see. Anyway, guys. I'm going to float around for a little bit more. I'm going to explore a little bit more. Uh, unlock some more stuff. See what I can't find. Uh, next episode, we're going to keep working on some more Thorncraft stuff. Whoa, that's a big, great tree. Found turkey. Turkey, uh, I guess I could get feathers from a turkey too, but... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to go through... I'm going to unlock some more things. Um, I think what I'm going to do next episode, if I feel up to it... I'm going to go through the golem tree. I only need straw golems for what I want to do. I think I'm going to get a uh, gather and a harvest core. And I'm going to see uh, how well they fare with the magical crops. Uh, if they get hurt by the crops, then they're not going to be very good at it. And I'm going to have to figure something else out. But if they work well with magical crops, that could be a bonus. Um, and you know what else? I'm going to see if they keep can't hold one of the the uh, special hoes to get the massive amount of them. Um, if they get hurt by the crops, which means that they will eventually die because they don't care about running through, you know, uh, crop death. There's another drop junk. Ooh, is that? Uh, Oh, there's another magical forest, too. Well, look at that. Yep, you go north, and you find magical forests. Go figure. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, if they don't work out the way I want them to, we'll have to figure something else out. And I have a couple of ideas that might pan out for me or might not. But uh, until then, guys, I'm going to... I know I said I was going to float around for a little bit, but... I'm going to go back to base because I've got guys out here trying to hit me with their bows and arrows. So, um, hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, a link, uh, <coughs> link, a like down below would be appreciated. You don't have to, though. That's always the thing with me. Um, I'd appreciate it, but it's not required. And, uh, be sure to sub my channel for more modded Minecraft madness. Um... Yeah. Where'd you go? You can't get very far, can you? Come on. Ha! Did you drop a ender pearl for me at least? No? Where's the other one? Anyway, uh, be sure to link, uh, so sub my channel for more modded Minecraft madness. And uh, here in a few weeks, I should have, I should have, it was requested of me to do a full tutorial on the inventarium, and uh, to do so is going to take several, several videos, so I'm going to upload them all at once. It's going to be an, uh, a Walker Explains series, um, much in the same uh, vein as my cake farm and other Walker Explains stuff that I've done. Uh, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. And if it's helpful, 
promote it because those are the videos that seem to get the most people coming up to my channel. Anyway, I've gone over for long enough, so guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, you know, keep tuning in for more great modded Minecraft episodes. And check you all later.